Good morning. How y'all doing? Welcome everybody. New subscribers, old subscribers, boo babies, honey buns, snack cakes, blessings. Most of all, sugar babies. I want to apologize right now if you hear some noise in the background. You know, this may be a noisy video. But Sugarfoot is in the chair watching the Wiggles. I've been trying to clean Corey's room. Um, since my son is getting his things out, it's a hot mess. And I really can't clean like I want until his stuff is gone. But I just was changing sheets and um, spraying down his mattress today. It's ridiculous in there right now. I can't finish until I got stuff in the machine that's got to come out. So I'm now in the laundry room, sitting on the floor, folding up clothes. Instead of me doing it another way, I wanted to fold them up fresh out of the dryer like this. Sit here and chat with y'all. Um, I hope everybody's in good spirits today. I was up, me and uh, Galen and I sat last night and we were watching um, the news and it's just, it is truly devastating and it makes you paranoid, we know, I'm going to just tell the truth, okay, I mean, shoot, when God tell us, you know, they say fear is not of God and God didn't give us a spirit of fear, and um, I need to know how to get rid of it, okay? I need to know how to get rid of it, for real. Um, because listening at the news yesterday, and all of those kids or people losing their lives yesterday, it's just the act. We know that we all got to go to heaven, or we got to die. Wherever you choose to go, once you die, it's on you. But we know we all have to die. But just the way that you can leave here sometimes is, is the problem. You know? And us... Where's my spray? I'm going to have to wash this over. I don't know how this got in this load. On whites, put it right there. But just, you know, it, it's just senseless. And my heart goes out to everybody involved in that. Um, I don't understand how people like that can be cowardly. I mean, we might have a spirit of fear. We might be afraid. But how you, how you, how you be a criminal like that, you, you plot and you plan to do somebody some harm, but then you you afraid of being captured. I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't get it. I don't get it. That's one I don't get, so. You know, you gonna do something like that. I mean, where your boldness to go ahead and turn yourself in. I mean, for real. Just, I don't understand it. So, it was sad, and then the video of the kids um, did a, a, a snap or something while the he was shooting, it was just like, oh my word. So, you know, it makes you want to keep the kids home if you can, you know, if you could, if you didn't have to go to work, you could keep the kids home and... Um, have them in your sight all day, every day, you know? It's like they don't tell me. I was saying that last night. When he was like, you can't keep the kids in the house all the time. They got to go out and um, they won't grow. I mean, what you mean they won't grow? What you think they did before they had school? 
I mean, seriously, you can homeschool your kids. I know that a lot of y'all ask me why don't I homeschool Corey. I don't homeschool him right now because I want him to get, like I say, that same interaction. But if push come to shove, I know that I can. I can put him in private school, but he's still young, and I want him to be able to get out and... Um, I want to give the public school system a try, you know. I know this is the third year, and yes, it's been trial and tribulation. It's been confusion. It's like the same thing every year, but hey, third time's the charm, okay? Third time's the charm. So we're going to see. Um, but yeah, so I kind of struggled yesterday. getting quiet but I had a few conversations that I had that I truly enjoyed um, I've had some emails I've had some actual phone conversations and they were good and, you know we encouraged each other and you know spoke life into each other and you know it just that's what it's all about helping each other um one of the ladies i talked to she she said all the time you know we need each other and we do we need each other we we get this mentality that we don't need anybody you do you do not that you're not capable of taking care of yourself or doing for yourself but somebody needs you somebody need what you have the the strength the confidence the faith the love the determination your discernment they need you they need all of what god has given you and some people may be lacking in some areas and some may you know you might where you might be weak somebody else might be strong and so it can be a blessing to you. It really can. Having somebody in your life, but it's about having the right people in your life. And the only way you can have right people in your life is through trial and error. Trial and error, um, asking for wisdom and discernment, and basically sometimes just going through. You know? not really going through the same situations over and over again but um you know because i feel like that sometimes you know how do i keep uh going through this what did i not learn the first time that something happened or maybe i responded in the wrong way the first time and i need to respond in a different way I can remember not long ago, I had a situation where <clears throat> every door that was before me, I kept getting a no. I kept getting a no. No. I can't, it's nothing I can do. No. No. It's nothing I can do. And I remember just reminding myself that I can respond in a different way. Reminding myself through God's word, you know. Thinking about, he said, be anxious for nothing. Because you're anxious, wondering why. Okay, well, who? Is somebody going to help me, you know? Is somebody going to have the answer that I need? No, and not not really thinking all the time that God already has the answer. He just wants you to seek it. You know what I mean? Seek it. I don't mean as in asking everybody. <clears throat> But to not give up so easy. And um, I was reminded, um, faith without works is dead. I remember that, you know, um, he didn't give me the spirit of fear to be anxious for nothing. I was reminded that, you know, um, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Not saying that that's in the Bible, but just to remember is that sometimes he just basically it was um you know sometimes you get a you have to try one or two times before you get the right answer 
excuse me, and sometimes might be four or five, you know? Um, and then you, there comes a time when you really do know that the answer is no. This is not the way. So I was reminded of that. And um, it gave me comfort. I was so ecstatic at the time. I was proud. I was happy. I was like, oh, is this how I'm supposed to do it? When I'm into in a situation and I don't know how it's going to turn out, I know that God is going to answer. But I just got to wait to see how he answers. So, I was, yeah. So that was one of the the ways that I was able to somewhat stay encouraged. And it's just, it's like when you get proof like that, that means the next time you're in a situation like that, you will remember the same thing. And when it's a first time for me, sometimes it's hard because I have to, I try to think back to each step that I made. And sometimes I'm like, I forget, you know, you know, because I, I try to remember how I felt. What was I saying? How was I thinking at the moment? You know, and sometimes it just don't come like that. But <clears throat> I know that it's a blessing. It is. Um, nobody wants to be without. Nobody wants to feel hurt. Nobody wants to be depressed. Nobody wants to feel lost. Nobody wants to feel like the ugly duckling. Nobody wants to... <laughs> Um, not have a boo, you know, on Valentine's Day or, or just a boo in your life, period. But um, I know now that if I can't love me, excuse me, if I can't love me, all of me, with no makeup, some days I may not look like the way that I look, you know. Uh, some days my self-esteem or confidence might be a little low. That I might wear some makeup or I might do something extra to my hair, add a little extra color. Do something, you know, to make me feel better, you know. Um, I know that it's not about me, but I know God created me for a plan and a purpose, okay. I know that um, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I know that I am beautiful to him. I am special to him. And getting myself to the point that I believe without a shadow of a doubt what God says about me and who he says I am is a process. Because if you've heard some negative things from physical people all your life, sometimes it's hard to shake or to train yourself to think better about yourself from someone you've never seen. So, yeah, sometimes that's hard. Yeah, sometimes it's hard, but it's possible, you know? I finally got a hole in my sheet. And a little nick, it's a little nick. Well, I ain't a little nick, dog. Look like something chewed it up. I think because I put it in the dryer with something that had Velcro on it. So... This will be a, I'm going to still use my sheet. This will be my little sheet that I cover up with on the sofa. Or when I'm in the bed and I don't want to get all the way in the bed, I just need something to throw over me. Then I took all the blankets, you know, the little throw blankets. I like to put them on the couch and things like that. Child, these kids have them, they be all over. And I'm like, where are all my blankets that I put on the couch? Don't know about the first thing they say. I don't know. Go look in their room. Somebody got one in their closet. Someone, somebody got one in their dirty clothes basket. Yeah. I can't stand that. First, because they don't want you to ask them to do nothing. I can't stand that. I can't stand. I can't stand that with a passion. Because you don't want nobody to ask you to do that. They just automatically say no. Now when you automatically say no, they don't.
sorry about that you guys i had a phone call to come through from the school i have another meeting coming up next week <clears throat> We had to set that up. Let's go put these up. I forgot one. Uh oh, hold on. I got another basket already folded up. First stop is. Uh oh, I lost one. This is my room. That's Corey's. Daddy's. Life goes up above and beyond. Towels. This is mine. TV off before we get in trouble. I have got to find some type of cushion um, to put behind my bed. There's a, a piece of wood behind that headboard um if i pull it out even if i pull the bed out from the bed from the wall even further than that the headboard um the frame it it acts like it's unstable you know it's time for a new bed point blank period um so if y'all see the material behind the bed that's what it's for it keeps, because I got one on this side when the bed was over here. It put a big hole in the wall, like it's an indenture. I don't know who that is. Put an indenture in the wall. I got so many clothes I need to put up in my closet. All of this. Okay, wait a minute. I'm mixing stuff up. Look, look, T. Risa. That's mine. My bed. I'm going to be getting back in it. So, I might get back in it. Depends on how the day go. Socks. We're going to put y'all in here. I have got to find somewhere to put my handbags because they just everywhere. Well, they on the floor right now. <clears throat> yeah, huh? They on the floor. My little shoe rack. I think when Janae move out of this room, Corey don't have a lot of shoes. But I'm going to try to, um, I don't want to bombard his room with my stuff because I will take over, okay? Yes, ma'am. I will take over. Things will be pressed down, shaking together, and running over. The girls' room need to be cleaned. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <gasps> and... Um, I got so much I feel like I, I have to do. Things that I don't have to do, but I have a lot of things that I feel like I have to do and things that I feel like I need to do. And it's a lot. 
it's a lot. It's a lot. I need to go and clean my husband's truck out. It looks like a utility truck. You know, somebody that work on cars. Oily. <laughs> I can't stand handprints and stuff to be everywhere like that. Okay. Yeah. And so that's what I'm dealing with with them. I don't know. I don't know, Lord. I don't know. I got to find Corey a dresser for his room. He doesn't have one. He got those little three drawer storage containers. Who sure this is? One of the girls. His medicine bag. I'm going to just sit it up here. And look. Hair galore. This is all the braid hair Jalen took out of hair. I got to get that together. Fan on. Close the door now. Okay. Um, I did get some candy last night for Valentine's Day. Outside of the basket that we got for our anniversary. Um, Ashley and her husband gave me a box of chocolates. They know I like chocolate. Um, and that was, you know, first, a first from my daughter and my son-in-law. Besides, I know she gave me money for my birthday last year. Um, so yeah, I didn't eat it cause I ate a lot and I was wondering why I felt so bad last night cause I scoffed down that box of turtles that was in the anniversary box before I went to bed knowing good and well I shouldn't have did that. That was too much sugar at one time, too much. I felt crappy. Okay. Really and truly, I felt crappy. I don't know. And maybe that's my downfall. Y'all know we all have weaknesses. But that's my my downfall is chocolate. And resisting the chocolate. This is how I this is how I am, y'all. That's why it takes me so long to finish cleaning up. Cause I go from one room to the next. I didn't finish one room and then go to the next. When I come in here, if I see something, I have to stop and do it then. Cause I forget. So when I go back that way. I can shut it down at least in here. Cause I don't have to do nothing in here, but um, put another load in and then sweep. I saw um, I was watching cleaning videos and haul videos yesterday, and um, I like watching people um, decorate and give you tours of their home and do haul videos. It kind of give you, it just, the things, the differences, the, the things that people like, put it that way. Um, especially grocery hauls. Things I might not have ever thought to buy at this point in my life. I'm getting to where I want to try new things. And so, yeah. 
Helen H make me want to not eat meat. <laughs> she do. She do. Home girl. Ooh. I'm going to try it one day. Just eat vegetables. I'm scared to try tofu because I don't know what it's going to taste like. So we got that. Um, I'm gonna put some purees, one capful. I don't have any more of my scent boosters. I'm all out of that. So now to cut down some on some of the suds, I add a cap of fabric salt. I wash. That's how I wash my clothes. Somebody knocking. He left without his key again. Hold on. Hey, baby. Say hey. It's not live, I'm recording. Hey, hey, <laughs> huh? What did I just give her? Oh, she was eating, um, she wanted some juice and Corey pillows. He weighs juice on his pillows. Yeah. I'm gonna throw these in here. I got like two or three towels in here. Try to wash everything in cold water, but when when it comes to his stuff on his bed, his pillows and stuff, I like to wash those in um, hot water. Hot water. <laughs>
I am slowly getting back to using my bleach. to the trunk. I got a half a gallon of bleach in the trunk that I forgot about. It's starting to warm up now because it was a little cool this morning and I came outside with shorts on. Please don't let this bleach waste in the trunk. might come back out here and clean out that trunk the truck I need to get plenty of cleaning solution for real the vacuum I need to go to the car place the vacuum I might do that drive it up there and just take my time and clean it out Everything to our people, to our family. Mm -hmm. We're still recording. Mm -hmm. You want to say anything to them? Mm -hmm. He's speechless this morning. Yeah. Speechless. Nobody but my baby. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Come on now. Nobody. Come here, muscles. Big Bertha go over there. On top of Brenda. <laughs> 
Bertha and Brenda. Bertha and Brenda in the house. Brenda in the house. Bertha in the house. Broomhilda in the house. Do Sheila in the house. You can't have that. What? The steak juice. You can't have it. You can't have no sauces that's made with meat. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. No. You can have cereal. I know you don't. chicken and rice. Um, what you want? Some, you gonna try to make chicken and rice with that? That's new rice. No. <laughs> yesterday. Just hard headed. Just hard headed. Just hard headed. Just, just won't, just won't listen. Just won't listen. Just won't listen. Just hard hit it. Just hard hit it. Just hard hit it. Just hard hit it. I mean, for real. Ooh, I can't get this off of here. Let's see. Wipe this mirror down. This is real hazy. y'all when I get to another room I'll be back 